Hi everyone, this is Julie. Today I'm going to show you how to make phonics phones. If you're a kindergarten teacher or a first grade teacher, phonics phones need to be a staple in your small group instructional area. Phonic phones are particularly helpful for those students who struggle with similar sounding letter sounds, such as the F and the V and the S and the Z. If you look at your student writing samples and you see errors such as these, you might want to grab a phonics phone and that might be very helpful for these students. So phonic phones can be purchased commercially, um, and they have very nice phonic phones that you can buy, or you can choose to make your own phonics phone, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. First, you're going to have to take a trip to Home Depot or your local home improvement store and purchase some PVC piping. Now, I purchased the half-inch pipe, and it comes in a 10-foot long tube because I feel that size is just perfect for little hands. Then you're going to have to cut that tubing, and I cut the tubing into three and a half inch sections, such as this. Now I make a lot of phonic phones, so I purchase my own pipe cutting tool, but if you tell the people at Home Depot that you're a teacher, I bet they'll cut that for you. The next you'll have to get some elbow joints. These are three quarter inch elbow joints, and you simply put the elbow joint on the end of the PVC pipe. And pretty much that is your phonics phone. Now if you want to dress it up a little bit, you can put a strip of duct tape around the center. At Home Depot and Walmart, they have some pretty cool colored printed duct tape that the kids would just really enjoy. So this is how you make your phonics phone. 